sleep or then go and go have extra activities. I don't know. Can't say. <coughs> yeah, we just feel like say oh, this episode should just be postponed. No, oh, not postponed. Just one episode where we just talk. Like just more random stuff. Like have a real session like the last time we had a real session. Based on a topic that was I mean, that the topic is basically having a real session overall because, I mean, how much, how much more times we're going to speak about the same thing over and over again so your people in this world need to just build a backbone or go to the spine donor and buy one spine. No, but I mean, it's almost like by speaking. The- no, I was not thinking of a topic that I'm t- um, today. Unfortunately, I've never have plenty of people who made a think about it, but I think it would have been somewhat stimulating. Big man thing. But I try to make sense of certain things in, in the realm of the finances. Um, but I try just like it, I said last time, so I ease up off of the, the whole relationship sector for a while. So. It wasn't along those lines. Um, it was probably one of the one of the biggest parts of most people's lives where most people take for granted because them don't think say uh, you know the people them who are supposed to help you reach for the stars also shackle with crippling debt. In the next twenty something years or thirty something years before you can move forward with your life. I'm not sure. Have, have we discussed this topic already? Mm, I think with nothing nothing, with nothing great detail. <clears throat> but I think I think with, without that much information, I don't get where I'm going with all of this. Yep. I hope I hope y'all can read in between the lines. Mm-hmm. I guess I can. So yeah, um, I sat down to them and I was thinking about it, you know. All of the facades that we were sold, you know, um, for certain people. Because I don't know about the next man, you know, but Lana, that meant me want to go into the police force. And who <laughs> said? Who said? Max. TV. TV can program and change where how you want. Remember, you know, people, I, I am an engineer. You but before to... that, I wanted to be a cop. How? Oh, how does one, one <laughs> radically change the way how them think so fast? Come here, watch Lana the, every Saturday with my sister on Sunday. We used to sit down at night at daytime and watch marathons. Just, just wave after wave up. I'm not tell lie. You can't, and who said TV don't have power? It's a lie. Yo, yo, I'm confused. How do we, how do we, America, born Batman and born, born pedophile in a law and order and born underachievers? Let's just say, I don't know, 30 years later, the same people who used to born them are having sympathy for them all of a sudden. What the hell happened to Dick Wolf in a day, in a day, in a like seven years span? How all of them ways of thinking drastically <clears throat> change. Just so. I mean, it's a. I mean, I, I don't. I don't want to question a man's integrity like Dick Wolf, but you see, he like the so-called DC writers who decides they want to in, integrate Superman for all. I believe they suffer from the same case of. Not having a spine in a bread shop because think about it like this. If them not panda, if them not panda to the trans community to feel included or the body man them to feel included, oh, you're 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 you're, you're phobic or blah 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 all that bullshit. You see, well, that's why. I, you see, no, hold on. You see, that's why I can appreciate a video game like Doom, 2016 and Doom Eternal. They don't give any fucks. They don't care. People lambast them, but oh, you're you're putting demonic uh, archaeology in your game, and 
you're gonna destroy the children. Okay. That's been proven. And a friend of mine, no, a friend of mine made a good point. I mean, are we so fearful that our children are that susceptible to corruption that we can't give them a chance to think for themselves? I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna say, are our kids that dumb though? Are our kids that really easily corrupted? Remember, they said that um, video games um, breeds violence in children. Of all the studies they've done, that's actually a lie. And with that, welcome to another episode of Controversial Topics. I just want to say like, share, subscribe, and comment. And let's get back to the, to the conversation. <laughs> you put the admin. Have to the admin. Have to the admin. Sure. Like, share, subscribe, comment. <laughs> well, yeah, like... Mm-hmm. I've just, I don't know, it's just so, I don't, I don't know if it's just because our wor- worldview is gone beyond the simplified matters of just thinking about why somebody would feel that way instead of, you know, we, go, we move from feeling to understanding the why. We don't want to know how, if you understand what I mean. Because, I remember on C- C- CNN, <laughs> CNN has to be one of the most anti-game channels I've ever come across. I remember when this cop, the school shootings did have gone wild in America. Extra, every single one of the shooters were, were white. And the first thing they came across was saying that he learned and was trained to kill by playing Call of Duty. And when I heard that, I'm like, so if what? that's the case, it, <laughs> you, th- you, know, you think I'm joking. Brother, this, ma- this man is about 30 to 40 years old. I know, um, Anna Sukupa. Anna Sukupa actually have a little bit of sense left, even though he's gay. But that's a different topic entirely. He's Anyways, gay. yeah. Or am I bisexual? Whichever one. It doesn't matter. Still respect him. I'm mm-hmm. a real chief. But, um, I see. This is, this is, <laughs> right, sure. But, like, this man is around more than 30, and he's going to look at me and say on live television, on CNN, that mm-hmm. this child shooter was trained in the art of assassinating people through Call of Duty. No. If by that same token, if by that same token, right? I have played Doom Eternal and Doom 2016. I should be able to warp myself to hell and kill all the demons. I need to play more Call of Duty. I also need to play more FIFA. Because the money that Messi is getting, I want it. Brother, if I could get the amount of money that I could give my play- players in contracts in FIFA... That man. <laughs> what we but, digress. No, but fun and jokes. That's it. Like, do these people even put any thought into their sentences before they spread their nonsensical propaganda? Because you don't have to know. Because the to... ball is. Yeah, go on. Go sorry, go on. Sorry. No, I said the barriers have been removed. Yeah, man. They blur the lines between what is reality and what is, um, you know, um, personal. You can't mix both. That's a recipe for disaster. Because you're going to tell people, say, oh, after a while, if you listen to how them talk, it's no longer, you know, well, the data says it goes into, well... From what I've seen over in my years, when you hear them say my reality or well, once I realize it's anything but facts, you're in trouble. Listen to how them talk. Because even though the, we're not swaying from religion, from another Satan anchor, um, Dan Le- Lemon, whatever the hell they pronounce his name, mm-hmm. but him once made a comment say, um, they're saying, oh, um, the Bible, um, Jesus. I said, well, if you if you read the Bible, well, inherently Jesus was not perfect either. 
This is this man who we have discrediting Christianity for push something that he knows what he's saying is a goddamn lie. He knows what he's saying is contradictory. He knows he's going to face crazy backlash for what he's saying. But what? There is no, there is no um, repercussion anymore. Anybody can say almost anything once it's not being chastised by one side. Honestly, I can't believe I live to say what I used to consider factual news turned to literally a, play, um, a person's plaything. Because that's all it really is. I feel no way and I need to hurt because I, I know a lot of people, especially in the Caribbean, <clears throat> who still think the garbage that they're watching on CNN is actually yeah, good. Conway would call alternative facts. Oh my God! So, so when when it took it took I won't lie, it took a minute. I think I told you all this already. I was home mm -hmm. one day and heard them talk, and I'm like, "That's a lie. That's that. The, see, that's blunt. See what I'm saying? That's a lie. Whoa, that's a huge lie." If I was being, if I was shocked out of my wits, come here, so wait a minute. No, not no go so. No, no, not no go so. Why is the CNN anchor lying? And, um, <clears throat> and, and Mark, you know, this, um, the thing that he was lying about, it mm -hmm. was factually proven already. That there was no need for me to go back check and back track and say, well, you know, from this article of this chapter of this paragraph, no, this was a known fact where that, that argument had been put to bed a long time. And they were lying through their teeth for national TV. And I'm like, and then when I met a friend, um, a friend of mine, I can call him friend now. <laughs> he likes, he likes uh, well, all right, we take jabs at each other, right? Yeah. Because he can't he can't fathom the fact that I came from the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. I I I was singing on the liberal ticket, but then the more and more I looked at the liberal ticket, the more and more I got disgusted by it. And it sounds so wrong for me to say that all loud because so many Jamaicans can't believe a Jamaican can say that out loud. Very man, this is a form of blasphemy in the eyes of other Jamaicans. How dare I come off and I make, I make them trick me and turn. But I'm like, no, square the apple. Square the apple. They don't even have two brain cells. I, I've never heard of somebody cheering for the people who enslave you. Make that shit make sense, son. Make that shit make sense. Um, the people who created Jim Crow. KKK. A president who formally said black people are cockroaches. <laughs> <you know>, <laughs> Sorry. I was cockroaches. I'm quite sure that him say. Well, I mean it's documented and the recording is still on YouTube, so yeah. Well, you I miss Trump. But 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 but, but no, you know what I, I can't said, believe I'm going to say this, but First, big of an asshole as Trump is, he, his, his rule, I think the only thing that I really found stupid about his rule was how gullible he was to saying dumb shit. But let me really take into consideration he's just doing it on purpose because he's just a troll. I said this oh. controversial opinion. Oh. Like, just an asshole. Full stop, he isn't racist, he's not sexist. Any of that is, he's just an asshole to everybody. Okay. I said that to everybody. Yo, yo, I said that to some say, oh, are you, are you, are you like me? Say, because he doesn't care where you come from. If you a bitch, you a bitch. That's what look for you. If you're doing the right thing, you're doing the right thing. I mark you. The only thing, and I said this to everybody, even the same Democratic friend whom I reason with, I will run joke and. We, you know, we, we go back and forth um, politically every now and again. He, he said it all time, Trump, if Trump it does, 
learn to keep my mouth, he would have had a second term. Sir, do you understand how drastic, I don't know inflation was speculated to become in any one of these days, but not to the extent where an entire economy was decimated in a matter of months, four years, four years, sir. My barely said the put my barely see gas price go over two dollar. And when it did go over two dollar, everybody oh! now if you see that backside gone four almost four dollar and counting. And it's only getting went and it's predicted to only get worse. And I'm like, yo, people hate this man and call this man antichrist and he was the worst for president. And I'm like, but is he really though? I mean, he him na re, him na him na they are Nick, you know they are Nick, you know they are Nick, or Clinton level, or Bush. Are you? And I'm going to say this. Mm-hmm. It's not Obama. <laughs> oh, He's I have nice. something. I have something things to say about that man. For, you know, for as much as I might have respected him because he was a black president. <laughs> His adherence to the foolishness. That's as far as I said. His adherence to the foolishness and to maintain the status quo, trust me, rub me the wrong way. And I don't like politics. Brother man, brother man, let me say, I say to everybody and to this very day, when people can tell me, well, he he increased this and that for, for black colleges. And I'm like, okay. Why didn't he make a program that incentivized, incentivized boys and young men to go back to colleges, aka equal or equal out this this disparity, this um, inequality when it comes towards men and women going through the paces in life. College mm-hmm. is anything but easy. College is anything but easy. And only an idiot alone will sit back and believe, say, Oh, well, you know, it's just college, yo. No, it's not. And they only see, only see one side of the, one side of your, your party. Only I promote one somebody. Oh, no. Yeah, that's kind of heartbreak. We don't know what next, man, but I'm just saying. But no, said all of my efforts are, are going to amount to not really a pain in pain. I sit back and watch, I'm like, wow. Uh, so, I, I, I'm out here cussing out Republicans and cussing out conservatives and even the party who me vote for. They even have a family, it's only women and how oppressed they are and how we need to think about the women and men, boys. Boys are reading at a fourth grade level. You have to be selective in the words where you say. Because sarcasm isn't openly understood over here. And I found that shit both sad and hilarious. You have to be careful. It's like we, we dwell I, in the realm of sarcasm. Sir, you can't find that shit you sad. You have to be yeah. careful Richard. when you have to have people over here. Well, Roger, did, I tell, you that, did I tell you that sarcasm is probably one of the few languages Jamaicans can never pick up unless you openly tell them that you're being an asshole? I mean, I thought about regular street man walking and come to know, say, yo, yeah, fuck your chat. Ask, da- ask Dario. Dario went to you. Dario can't, Dario can't tell you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yo, people, yo, when you say people have lack foresight or lack the ability to realize that, hey, he's actually not being. What's the word I'm looking for, Dario? He's not trying to or not being rude. No, brother. Anybody who's sarcastic has ever said that out loud. Genuine, yes, he's not being genuine. But it goes on by the airhead when it when the least of things. Yo, off topic. How the fuck does an experienced actor use a prop gun to kill someone? Like the f- bruh. I'm me alone when I get that the news new news feed they come from my phone. Hmm? That was a real thing. Brother, Ali, the girl dead. 
Alec Baldwin take one prop gun and shoot the girl and the girl dead. Oh yeah, I heard about um that case, but them are trying to say Murder. it is manslaughter. And it never it wasn't supposed to end how the way it ended. Would it be his fault though? Wouldn't someone else have planted the gun or oh, oh, well, no, it well, doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter. No. America. First America of all, I'm, yeah. mm-hmm. Uh, yo, I'm not even blaming Alec Baldwin, but I'm just saying, right, Roger? Mm-hmm. Even if the stunt guy tells you, say, yo, the chamber is empty. I, I, me, I worked with firearms for a brief period of time. You check that shit to a T. Mm-hmm. No, no matter yeah, what. Brother, all if God himself come from above with him angels and say, my son, the gun is empty. Me go look on him and say, you're sure about that? Come, check it for yourself. There is no way you as an actor who has been around the system long enough, and as a man, as a man, you know, say, yo, them, brother, people have been after this nigga. I, fi- I try to find something to pin him for for how long now. And this is how it's going to end? Well, remember, he is a Baldwin, so I always <laughs> understand this. <laughs> Oh, Russia, yes, you're wrong for that. <laughs> you're wrong I don't for care. That. It's legacy. <laughs> and who's Olana? 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 And even though I don't want to go back upon this, got good riddance to, to, to dirty rubbish. <laughs> Let's be realistic here. If that pastor, quote unquote, did not crash and die, he would have have to die either way. You know that, right? Yeah. The odds of him making it out yeah. of Jamaica was slim you to mean, none. The odds of him making it out of Mobile. Yeah. I'm surprised. Slim he reached so far. Slim to none. So, so far. And I hear when people go, oh, oh, he's just an act of God. And we say, well, it also can be seen as an act of man. Shit. What's so hard to cut halfway through a man's cable? And as soon as him start driving the vibration, them and the pothole, I'm licking two times, it finish boss. It's not hard to do, if you know what you are do. Yeah, See, but you don't... know the funniest thing? People are calling mm-hmm. it a car crash. I'm, I'm saying, oh yeah, that's another word that's for an... accident, right? Yeah, that's another name for, for assassination. But go ahead, me listen. It's I mean, another I mean, nice way of calling it an assassination. I mean, Martin, Luther, Martin Luther King was, was accidentally killed too. No, really? Oh, made a wheel, wheel, cup, full of selector. How, how sway, how? Because let, let, let's see, let's see but how many. Act- the man was on a second, a one second one. story, <laughs> standing at a certain time of day. How, how sway? Oh, make that make sense. <laughs> Looking at the building behind him. I mean, we can go a step further. George, Was- George Washington was accidentally killed too by his own. Own com- congressman, no less. And to this day, them claims that they can't find no evidence as to how the shooter killed him. Really? Really? A goddamn death that has spawned more than 10 plus documentaries and we still can't figure it out. Really? Big man, you've gone too far. You've gone too far. Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> no more than that. Make that crap make sense. <laughs> top of, top. The feds market. It's not a regular jail, Jenna Day, you know, then. Not a regular jail. Feds. The cameras don't catch. The cameras don't catch him. Cameras don't see what the, 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 the agents were doing. Because remember, agents, not police, you know. Not soldiers. Agents. The camera couldn't tell where the agents were, what they were doing while this was happening. Third, they don't know how the hell this man got pillowcases. And bed sheet in himself. Was it yellow for work five days a week? Huh? Wasn't he also allowed to leave the prison five days a week for work? Mm-mm. And before. Before. That was that was <laughs> the last time. That, that, that was the last time. I think well, that was happening in Florida. <laughs> I believe that one happened in Florida, but this one was when um after everything boss and mm. too much big name from even outside of America named Sarkal. 
princes and duchess and, 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 and dukes and all them shit. And Epstein is star talk. You understand me? He wasn't singing yet. But he was sure as hell talking. So, you understand? So, there's a good chance of the execution here, not just coming from America. I come from all across the world, too. <laughs> I come from far, so... So many people talk that rubbish of me is, it really irritates me because... I used to think big people that have sense. I used to think big people that have sense. No camera, no, no camera to see what happened. Nobody can give a full detail of what was happening in the jail, in, in, the, in the, the, the isolation area, car. And a regular jail, you know, the monk's regular prisoner. You understand? And him alone, they by himself. This man is being watched for probably, if he survive, one of the biggest peel out there is going to be across the whole. This shit would have, this shit would have destroyed politics across America if he lived. You understand what I try to say? He would be destroying people on both sides of the aisle. That's how wrapped up former presidents. You understand me? Heads of states. The amount of people where him was about to get ready for tear down. He couldn't live. But then I'm like, and as quick as he died, it's as quick as the story disappears. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at somebody and say, come on, yo. You really think this man killed himself, yo? Come on, yo. Look how fast the media killed the story, yo. When last he hear about that shit no more? Even the, even one of the girls them who was one of the women them we can't call a woman a girl she a big fifty year old even one of the women them that was tied in with him that was supposed to be serving some eons I got to charge him the normal then brother man you, you touch a child the wrong way shit you look at kids you look at, let me show how bad I, I know I'm sorry I, I keep swinging and whatever right but oh, no, this is how bad. But, but this is how bad America has gotten now. I went to the park to do some studying. And in the midst of me in deep study, never realized I'm hearing, oh my god, oh my god. First I'm like, oh, look up, Mr. Two kid, two or three little girls. I'm like, all right, fine. Teenagers, fine. By the time I lift up my head, they had a full a whole gymnastic thing going on up the road, a little bit up from over there. Do you know how quickly the situation become uncomfortable? Mark you, I'm only studying, which means I'm hearing I'm hearing voices in front of me, and I'm so scared to look up and look directly in front of me because what? All it takes is just one of them to say what? It's a guy down down there, so he was looking at us. I realize who. Oh, how oh, oh, loaded a gun that is? <laughs> you talk about that, brother. You, you realize how the dangerous fox. that shit is? You didn't even oh, mention the foxy block. You didn't even mention that yet. Better man, better man. And let me say this, because we're confused. I don't understand why people love you say, oh, my culture, my culture, my culture. Bitch. If you take a poor child, a child who has never seen riches, and at a young age put him among riches, what do you think is going to happen to that young man? You think his inner, his inner, inner city nigga going to emerge? No. He's going to adapt. He's going to understand what riches and all of them, them shit, them, how it work. And he becomes one of them. Same thing if you take an uptown Pitney baby and throw them to the heart of the ghetto. White, black, per, per, Puerto Rican, pick one. They're all going to eventually adapt the surroundings and become as, as nigga as the next man. So while I was there, right, between the mix, red bones and red bone and black people were skin so pale as a white man pit me. Same. Like Chris Brown, for those of you who don't know what red bone look like. Chris Brown, if, if you've seen... Any video or picture of him being by himself in real life, not in a music video. I mean, never know said so them put things on them face to turn down them sheen when the cameras are on. They have to wear makeup. Like, for example, Neville Bell. I never know so Neville Bell brown, brown, 
Brown bad, yeah. bad, bad, brown, 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 brown. Yeah. But, and then Kevin's like, hold on, but then what's about this word on the look? Not like when you on TV. Then somebody tell me, say, you know, they had to put on makeup, right? He's like, what? Yeah. So when the lights turn on from the camera, his his after image won't be too bright. We're like, wow, did not know that. But yeah. I was petrified um the other day. Petrified, I don't know nothing wrong. And every girl I call each other that bitch and who she must have date. Oh, I think you must date him next. And I'm like, mm, I want to run away. You may need to understand this. Not only does this, the sensitivity of the situation, also the severity of the situation. You yep. can't just jump up and just walk away like that. <laughs> just so. so. Suspicious Thank 101. You. Thank you. So you have to do it, you know, a strategic exit, retreat, but you have to do it somewhat understandable. You know, where even the, the grown women who are there can say, oh, he's doing the noble thing, or oh, he's doing the appropriate thing, and walk that way there. Wait, pan, dab. You, you understand me? Yep. Society has gotten that messed up now. Scary, yo. Yo, you know, I don't know if it's me, but I share this sentiment where you are innocent until proven guilty. Females in this country just, like, they are so, them know so females get kidnapped, raped, beat. All of that nonsense. And none of we as man wants to see that. None of we as true man like to hear it. But to hear the ignorance that you know your friends are doing it too. You know how upset and annoyed I got when one of my when one of my so called <coughs> friends. I'm like <coughs> Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. Uh a, t- a tweet that and uh, that that a lot of women been posting that's been going around. Teach, tell, tell, tell men to stop raping and so forth. And I'm like, I can't tell a criminal for not be a criminal. Though. What not are no? Men are criminals. What are no? No? Before you say nothing, Brescia, most mm-hmm. of the men who end up doing these crimes, the same ones who grew up underneath a mother's leadership, though. And this, aren't these the same ones who run them father out of them life? I thought about the father, what this and this and that. I'm just saying. Her just wasn't the well, uh, it's, it's re- No, it's really <laughs> ironic that they claim that men ain't, aren't shit. Yet, the man who you decided to sleep with is the same man you fell in love with all those ages ago. But where did that go? Because you wanted him to do. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, really, but... inter- really interesting. Oh, no. I, I am here to go down the rabbit hole all you want. I'm here all night. Brother man, I won't lie. Even though when I try go 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 relationship, we can understand why it does play an intricate part in all of this. Of course it does. Because I have to I have to daily, weekly, monthly raise with my wife. And this this nonsense to say it's a man of it tell woman certain things. The Bible won. Because society society does don't do want to be corrected. Because it raises a mirror to everybody's face. It raises a big mirror, but most people don't want to see. And that's, I mean, there's a reason why Michael Jackson said must start with a man in the mirror. It wasn't because he was trying to look clicks and likes and all that crap. He knew why he said what he said. You have to start with the man in the mirror because if you can't change that, that's why he was hated so much. How dare you point out our inadequacies? Hmm? How dare you hold up a mirror to our insecurities? Hmm? How dare you, you bastard? Tear him down. And, is, and, the, and remember, this is the same man who was 
rampantly claimed to be a body man and then as soon as he did the world on a clam of him and talk about how oh, he was right. I said, bitch, fuck all on. When I never come up with the man when the man was alive, I know no one respect him. Man, what's up on the whole hand? Well, I, no, well, no. I, I, I agree, but I, look, look on it I, this, this, this way as well, right? Mm-hmm. When the Tiang Dong was happening, a good portion of the people who should have been defending him joined in on the tarring and the feathering of the man's reputation. He won black. I don't know why it's so easy as black man to jump up and help tear down people just because you're envious of them. I don't know. And my, again, a friend of mine, he said, boy, Andre, you think too naive, you know? You think that this world is sunshine and rainbows and everything. I say, I know it's not all those things, you know? But yet I can look into other races, other nationalities, and say, say, when them people do fuckery, they go quiet. They don't, they don't agree. They don't, they don't attack him. They go quiet. As a means of what? Killing the argument. If nobody not saying it, it dies faster. Because you don't want that attention. You're thinking about what? The cultural brand. The race brand. The nationality brand. Other people do that. But black American and Jamaican? Oh, <laughs> especially. Let me fix the statement. Especially them two people, set of people. Eh? <laughs> they don't let it go. It has to span from here so till the end of time. Because what? Yeah, but... Well, I know. Oh. Well, I know. I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> Sorry, but... All right. let, me, let, me, let me add in some more. <clears throat> yeah. One of my exes, right? Yeah. Years of me thinking I'm just being me, right? I'm just being me. I'm not being mean, I'm not being malevolent, I'm not being an asshole. I never know my knowledge and my, my, um, my intellect. Not only did it intimidate, it sparked a rival with a woman that I was dating. Never know, said so me and I in a competition in a car. I thought I was only encouraging her when I was using certain words, statements, gestures, gestures, you feel me? I thought I was doing something good. Me never knows I created a rival. <clears throat> every day, every day, when she was using big words and so forth, Mark, I know most of the words will come out of her mouth already, so the fact that she's learning them, it was like, oh, good for you. But me never know me saying good for you was considered an insult. I, then again, I get it. I, I get it. Walana, Walana, Walana. I get it. I have something to say after you're done, man. Well, I know, I, the way is them say it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Bullshit. I said it. I, no, no. To an extent, it is real. To an extent, Bradshaw. But yeah. I, take, I take into consideration how you... Mm -hmm. I can consider how you would say that good for you. I know it's not... We as men, if I hear that from you, all right, it, granted... If it's on a rugby field, I'm going to look at you and say, hmm, interesting. Mm. But mm -hmm. it, it, it's past this up. Like if me and your teammate, yeah, verbal jobs, it's expected. Even in life, if I hear that from Dario, Dario said, Bumba, yeah, duck, you just get some pussy. Good for you, my friend. I'm like, nigga, stop being weird. Good for you. But yep. like, I remember when I said that same word and it was supposed to be taken as a compliment. It was a, it was a Facebook text at, at, at that. And apparently mm -hmm. it was read as an insult. And I was flabbergasted, completely confused. I'm like, so I did a little research. And apparently there's this website that says, whenever you're saying good for you, it's apparently, um, it's, 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 it, it comes off as sarcastic. I'm like, so when I say, bitch, go and die, <coughs> will that come off as sarcastic as well, or is that going to be seen as a threat? I'm like, the f all what? All right. So, all right. See? <laughs> no, but I mean, I mean, this, this, I even, again, even though this is not, all right. Men, we understand sarcasm way better than women. I repeat that. Men, we understand sarcasm better. Not saying, so we know it, you know. There's a lot of people up here 
who <laughs> misinterpret sarcasm as you actually mean what you say. My wife was like, oh yeah, that's another thing if you learn about up here. These people take everything you say like literally dead ass. If, if you don't say the word, if you, if you don't say, you know, joking at the end of it, they honestly believe, like they can't, they can't decipher between reality and a goddamn joke. You have to literally directly say it immediately. After you say it, because they're going to immediately interpret it as an insult or a disrespect or... That and I'm is, like... That's made emojis. I want a bomb clot. <laughs> first of all, wait, first of all, I, 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 I think we all have, as my mother would say, she's sleeping right now. I think we all have great command of the English language, as she would always say. If I need to sit and baby you to understand what I am saying, why are you here? You, you see, this is the thing that is both a curse and a good thing for humans. When we hear mm. what someone says, we decipher it as to what we want it to be. Of course. We don't want to look at the other side of what the person is saying. And this is specifically true for relationships. God Almighty. You don't want to know what's so hilarious. You don't want to know what's so hilarious about this these topics that all goes back to the same damn topic we don't want to talk about exactly <laughs> and i noticed you you've been putting good you've been you've been working i respect that though i respect that like i realize you you, you get sidestep certain comments good man but i will say this though right People can can say one thing and chastise another. Like for instance, let let, 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 let let me go back to the original topic that I that I that I that I was insinuation insinuating on. You know, yeah. emotion <clears throat> make people do things that they don't mean. And they say it and do it because they feel obligated into saying it or do it. This is heartbreaking because I know so many good people who tie themselves into some uncomfortable situations that if they were just being honest, logical, and just push them emotions to the side. <laughs> Sorry. Um, a lot of things would have went completely different, especially in them life. I've seen girls make emotions, literally ruin their own lives. They literally let someone else's emotions fuck up them life. I'm like... There are many people that have been incentivized by their emotions to go into fields that they know don't until, make no money. Until I became don't make... <laughs> and Mark, you, and, and this people need to understand, you know, I'm not saying these things to be malicious or saying these things to hurt anyone's feelings. I'm saying these things because they need to be said. It hurts, <laughs> but that's a reality that we all have to face. Yep. Do you know how much people know? They are college, are stuck in college, or better yet, stuck, unfinished college because they chose a bullshit degree because it would be mommy or daddy or uncle or grandpa happy. The only people who know stuck in a degree is that they hate to them very core. Do you know how much girl who know who are nurse now? That if, if somebody else not there upon the wall with them, you surely die. <laughs> the machine I machine go beep, 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 beep. I could give a fuck less. It's only if, it not, if it's not so obvious. Yeah, you know many know nurse, you know many yeah, nursing I stations? Do you, well, I'm a, do you know how many nursing stations? Them have cameras. Like, instead of put one camera, them put like multiple cameras now. Because them can't believe nurses can be this fucking cruel. And again, I'm not saying this to hurt anybody's feelings. I'm saying this because I've seen this shit happen before. You know what it's like to hear, say, 
members of a certain organization of a certain you know hospital make shit a go on and unless you know somebody who who actually work there, you will never hear them fucking conversation here. Because them people know how for the what? Damage control very well. Enough people of um, a certain hospitals are being punished. In a in a in a in a plain sight, but because people are so overstaffed, them give a blind eye because them can't afford to make that one nurse walk away, even though she had the same one. Who indirectly? Killing your family member. You have to somewhat like the job. If you're not love, like it before you're going out. You can't resent the job. You can't. It has been the man that said, don't hate the player, hate the game, don't hate the famous, hate right. the fame. I the same thing. And no, and, like, and that goes for. Just for the sake of getting a degree, like. There are people who are physiotherapists, and I'm not sure if it's a case that they don't know what they're doing or they're purposely sabotaging you to get money. And like, as a massage therapist, somebody came to me on several occasions. People have come to me. People have come to Percival. And I'm like, it's a simple issue. And I just fix it like that in one session or a couple of sessions. Or somebody, or they go to a different physiotherapist and they fix it in like one session or a couple of sessions. And we're like, why have you been going to this man or this one for, for, for two, three years? And this is something that you could have solved a long time ago. Or something that he could have just reduced the pain and you would have healed over time. And this shit happens. Regular, like, there's always going to be someone to, to fuck up themselves in the gym or in a car accident. Excuse my language. Or, to the sum, so, or something is going to happen. So money is going to come in. You don't need to be milking these people dry. Yet this... Yeah, but that... But we all know why, Dario. Greed. Brother. How much money you want, no. sir? Brother, we as Jamaicans guilty of this over and over and over again. And I don't need to go any further than the school system or the government. Government itself own. Why every year the school fee for years? For what? For what info? You see, well, GC foster, right. well, I know, well, I know. GC foster more than anybody else. And I am free to call him name. And if they want to find me, they know my address. I couldn't give a fuck. Why upon God's green earth? Miscellaneous fee needs to be added to smarty. Brother. Yes, when me see my brushing comes out about who you want to take, take student loan on here. I take my hand and slap this man in the head about five good time and me and this man nearly kick off and fight, you know. Good, good friend, you know. And the two away, of course, and then after we cool, we, we cool on the man say, yo, what, what make you really? Say, I say, brother, think about it like this. You already sell your soul to this place by paying school fee what not supposed to make sense. You're going to pay additional money if you get money from a bunch of people who go come and continually hone up your rest of your life. Think about it for a second. Go back to what I say. Like, what infrastructure do you put the money towards? The dorms are still shitty. Literally. The bathroom, them are as bad as ever. The little paint want to put over the school that can get rubbed off with rain. Wi-Fi is bullshit. And you come with this bull and like, it's, everybody just eats up this shit. And I'm like, Am I the only one who sees a problem with this? With you're a sports head. college. You're, well, I know. You're a sports college. And my dinner is supposed to be liver and rice along with chicken neck. Chicken neck and chicken back. The f- what? The first of its kind. And that's my dinner. I know you take is not much better, but for the love of God, Really? And you hold up the school as if it's some prestigious um, prima donna, as if it's the only thing in the world. And then you have man like me who play rugby and broke and far field, and nobody gives a fuck. And it took until I was supposed to graduate for them to talk about them and reimburse me for that. And if I had my way, I would have them to go shove it up their ass. Imagine. 
nights when we spend pan down with people that dead beside me of a kind of regional. Them can't take with them, them the trauma there. What them are talking about, oh, they're sorry. Man, true. And then, and then you have some pussy work on Twitter. Or you also go you your chat, but oh, oh, if we make people decide if they want to go to college or post the world. Everybody have money like you for going yes. Why should we subject the next generation to go to a place where them not go to shit? But suffer exactly and people it's called exactly. students. I agree with them and about and and, and that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. So it's like there's one thing with people making their own decisions, and there's just a t- brother. If my daughter has to go to and said, then want to go to GC faster. I am going to have a long conversation where I should at least un- make them understand and say, yo, if you go, you will understand true meaning of becoming an adult. And I don't want to send my kids to college like that. Me it neither. terrifies me. It terrifies me, me say, yo. Me <laughs> me. <laughs> oh my God. Ah. Let's believe this. I mean, I said this to anybody face, the man vex. Like, get it twisted. Like, I I know for a fact that my child has to have a skill. Like, I don't care how early she learns, she has to have one. And it doesn't it doesn't have to be the one that daddy do. You understand me? She just has to, has to understand that whatever she learns, she has to make money off of it. She has to see cash flow. You understand? She has to know, say, and she understands the stock market and everything. Mark you, I prefer know that, and I said this before, and I mean this. I prefer, I prefer sleep better know some more raise predators than raise prey. That sounds so wrong, but no. I, I, I rather <laughs> live that way. No. I rather raise like, Predators don't raise prey. I'm sorry, yo. Yo, fuck there's that. nothing to be sorry stop, for. Stop, stop, stop apologizing. I'd rather raise a predator than raise a goddamn sheep. I'm the, sorry, yo, man. Yo, it's the right for when, when, when the time comes, right you see the man who, you see the man who, my, my daughter, so she got married. Oh, best believe him, I forgot to come. Good. God, daddy not raise no idiot. You understand, Mark? You. I'm not saying, say, you know, you know, she's a woman. Now I say that because, like I said, I have friends that you have met, cool as hell. But again, woman and me. So leave it at that. <laughs> Even the cool ones fuck up, so I'm just saying. Yep. Even the cool ones, yeah. So that's why I remember we had we had a conversation at some point, and I said, well, I think I mentioned something about about this topic. I'm like, yo, I think down the line, must know some man must fuck my daughter one. I'm like, well, I'm. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's life. I believe I remember this conversation. We had this conversation, and I said, that's yes. true. I'm like, oh, I'm yeah, not yeah. one of them psycho fathers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not one of them psycho fathers where they go, oh, my God. Yeah, fuck. I mean, okay. If she, well, I know. You have to know. Well, I know. Well, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> let me finish. <laughs> let me finish. I'm not one of them madmen there. We're gonna literally kill her the day she start take a take a rod. I'd be crazy to do that shit. <laughs> the circle of life. Every yeah. man knows him that I must that I must must eventually go up to the slaughtering. You'd be stupid not to think that way. But yes, as a father, you don't want to think about it. But then you remember say, oh yeah, her mother. That's a man's daughter. What the fuck? You understand me? I'm just saying. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Another Brother. five points for Bradshaw speaking Fox. <laughs> That's another man's daughter. Um, 
scared. No man likes the idea of knowing his daughter is getting diddly. But at the same time, their mother, their mothers, <laughs> whatever you want, put it, is a man daughter that too. Just say it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, like you see, that's that's logic right there. Common that, sense. Like, I don't know how man get vexed and want to kill man. I'm like, as long as I'm a rape, bro, um, she consented to that shit. How y'all get vexed for? Yes, again, if she had diddly every and everybody, damn right y'all go vex. But, if you have sense, which I think you are raise are to the best they can. Yeah. If I don't happen, boss, get over it. You be a dumb shit you think that, oh, she's not going to. If you say, men, you say she not want experiment to. Why men think so them daughters, the wall are not, don't have nature. Man have nature, yes, we know this. So, all them girls go through high school. If you never force it upon her, or you never can it from her, you still get it. Those <laughs> girls are mothers now. Majority of them breed. So, I'm just saying, why you think this shit wasn't going to happen back? It's a circle of life, you dumb fuck. That's it, yo, Roger, I just want to remember my bridging. <laughs> remember when this man died about, you know, little girl, I was about three or four now. And it, I remember when he ain't just that, because he, he, he breed a girl, young. Two of them, high school, them. Yeah. Him, him, him. But yeah. remember my man have a conversation, I'm going to talk about, say, yo, when he be him that, I'm going to stop you right there, so, sir, I'm going to ask you something. How old is your girlfriend right now? Keep in mind, this was a conversation three years ago. I'm mm-hmm. say, um, she had 20. I'm say, sir, her father is a licensed firearm user with two shotguns and a nine millimeter barita. And you are talking here like you can stop your daughter and get fucked. Sir, mm. liable to die from mm-hmm. shot wounds. Brother, mm-hmm. this is her father looked for me one time, you know. And the man said, yo, it's a doctor. I asked one question. I said, Jesus Christ, here we go. Do you think that this man is worthy? I said, sir, are you going to try to kill him? I said, maybe. I don't know yet. <laughs> Good man. Yo. At least he's on it. Yo. It, it is not, yo, it's not even, yo. You know, it's not even the fact that he said it, but it's the subtle hint of violent yo you know when you look for somebody you can look for them and know say yo they're inherently violent but they're calm with it like a dario or black yes. sharp instance yes. the way the man yes. just say it so smoothly i'm like this nigga is yes. a serial killer on the side don't feel that weird no don't get no don't get it fucked up yo <laughs> don't get it twisted yo it's my job to protect and most man to be honest with you that title is not something i fuck around with I said that shit to her this morning. Dead ass. Who is calm? Take her to the um, best of my goddamn ability. You wouldn't like to my best. My, 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 yo, my best ends with me in a, in a jail cell somewhere. We know that. Fair fact. <laughs> you wouldn't want to see my best, Rasta. You would not like to see. No, to I'm, 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 no, I'm, no, I'm going to talk, so. Dr. Dr. Shakes. <laughs> I, I, I shake? Oh, no, no, no. I don't, I don't shake. You know why? Because I've been around enough men. As a matter of fact, my father himself. Damn right. I won't, I won't forget when I told him the first time. Um, like one girl do me bad. This man just come in from work, you know. This man spent an entire morning. I practice how to use one shuffle properly. Keep in mind. Man, I'm there, that. I'm there, yo, I'm there one day, like, yo, we not have nothing to build upon the and them say, oh, oh, me mean say, oh, the man just buy the bag of cement, you know, and this man, they, they are far tight and all, I say, yo, um, is that a grave, and the man say, no, it's a castle, just to, you know, store things, and I'm like, why are you speaking like this is normal, 
Brother man, you see a father's protect over protectivity. It might be stupid sometimes, but honestly, it is some of the scariest, funniest shit I have ever seen. Especially for daughters. It no pretty. <laughs> no, I'm not worried. Me not, uh, you, me not worried for you. You, you are a complete madman. I know that if your daughter bring home anybody, you're just going to be so calm and just pretending as if everything is so nice. While underneath you're plotting, just wondering how shall I ruin this nigga's night. I mean, so, I, I'm probably because I'm I'm, I'm I, pretty certain the people them daughter father. You'll be fine. Once you get back, yeah, 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 your quick acceleration from 30 meters, you'll be good. <laughs> I mean, I only suffered because she come from a completely unstable family. Fair enough. Yep. Good. Right, man? Yo, know, a father's overprotectivity is just so hilarious to me sometimes. I swear. So ridiculous and so funny. I'm imagining like my sister's first heartbreak. I'm like, am I gonna be cool when it happens, or am I gonna be like, yo, where does he live? No, oh, you see, I've realized something with me. I talk a lot of shit saying I won't care when deep down married, they have my shuffle technique ready for knock the motherfucker out. Then, because it is, you know, it's not even the fact that you care, it's just a sense of duty. Like, like who? I am the one who is supposed to be terrorizing her and breaking her heart every single day. Who the hell are you to try to take this throne from me? <laughs> yo, yes, yo, yes, yo, sick and twisted it is. It's a competition. We are, we are still wondering, like, who you and how dare you do this? Granted, you have a few times when you actually go here. Like, I've actually thought about saying if a boy try to force himself from my sister, instantly he go dead. I'm going to go to jail feed. But tell yeah. myself that already. Well, I mean, it's only murder if they find the body. No, no. The way how me know me go disgusting, me go kill him and bring the body right to the police station and ask them if they want to be evidence. That's how body call me. I will give no ifs. Because first of all, me just go ask and say, well, I caught the predator that you guys couldn't catch for the last five years. Do I get a, a pay? Type in. No? Huh? Okay. Question. <laughs> you have no know, viewers are going to go look funny and say, yo, these niggas are a bunch of psychopaths. Yes! Yes! We never claim to be sane. The thing is that we're not crazy, we're just normal. We're just speaking out loud. Because but we, we never but no, but we never claim to be good. We never claim to be saints. Now I'm saying the main difference between us and the people who are judging us <laughs> saying what we're so, saying out loud because they think the same way. They're just afraid to speak the truth. Exactly. I'm not. I won't go around and pretend as if I won't I won't I won't see my sister's boyfriend and, and not give him a hard time. Why not? If I can't test a nigga's resolve, how is you worthy? My resolve was tested by my own parents time and time again. God, my resolve get tested by my own goddaughter. I could pick it that comes down and run off your mouth so much, I just want to fling it. <laughs> Yo. Why are you like, why, why can't I get sweet here? I say, because your father, do you listen to my father? My father, your boss, I'm like, how to kill someone's child without them knowing? <laughs> you want me to know the worst part? It's because she's so like her father, I get annoyed. This man is so annoying. The man, yo, this man antagonizes me every day. I say, yo, it's a damn slow. But can you, you play rugby too, you know? When you play overseas. I say, yo, it's a slow. Run, man. Can you watch him match with Michael and GC and I run off him mode? And then the man does have, have the exact annoying voice like him. And she just as annoying as her mother. Okay, mother mosquito. Sorry.
Rugger, they just text and say, yo, you wife have a number. I send him link and say, if you want to follow, you can follow them. I hope one day when we cont- when we are a couple of years into the podcast and we have a bit more viewers and subscribers, we can all have our women on the podcast together. That won't end well. Well, for me at least. For me at least. I know it won't end well for me because half the time I'm going to be spending shutting up, trying to shut her up. This will end well for me. I'm going to be the annoying one in my relationship. The two and nine as far as I'm concerned. If, you're, those, status, if oh. those statuses and stories on Instagram are anything to go by, the two and the same person. One just have a dick and one have a vagina. Simple. There is only room for one. I mean, there's a room for two, two but I just one room you know, go sleep in. So, you know. <laughs> Watch, I've been paused for a minute, though. Yep. I still don't know how a nigga shot... I don't know how he shot, shot off a prop gun. I'm still, ba- I'm still baffled. I still yeah. not understand. It was a prop gun. Wait, repeat that again? Alec Baldwin shot... He was a prop gun and killed the girl. Oh. I'm, I'm a- as a matter of fact, Trevor Noah was just posted on video about it a while ago. I got to watch and hear what the fuss you have to say. I just don't get I just don't get it. You're supposed to check the chamber. And even if you go discharge it, you well, discharge it. Why would you check the chamber for a prop gun? But this, you have to. There you have to. You but have to. One can't kill anything, not even a plant. So why would you check the chamber for a prop? It is gun? standard. It is standard protocol. All right, all right. Think up. Think up. All right. Think up. Think up. Think about it like this. You know, like how in a rugby you have to come and pass one, and have a pass the ball left to right, left to right, left to right. Yeah. Same thing with any form of tools. All if it look fake, yo. All if it's a gun and it have blank in it, you have to check it. I just standard protocol. Because if you don't, shit like this happens. Baldwin discharged the gun and the minute the man says the girl start bleed out, the man completely shocked. And I don't blame him, but him I go to prison for it because of him shoot the girl. Just the stu- brother, the stunt, brother, the stunt man say, yo, oh, it's okay, it's empty. Brother, all if God tell me say empty, Mr. Still check it. Me not care what. It sound way too set up ish. It's set up ish in our way, but it just seems so ironic in our way. Like, this nigga has been on the earth for so long, and it and I, this is how he goes out. You said the same thing about Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby is free. We don't talk about it. <laughs> uh. What a, what, what a thing, what a thing, what a thing. Uh, I mean, we defended this nigga in the early stages, and then after a while, we have to keep him out shut and really say, yo, this nigga actually... Like, like, me and Dave Chappelle were on the same page. Like, when it got to, like, 20 and 30, I was like, hmm, kind of iffy. Yeah, man, yeah, man. And then, after a while, let us give up, give up hope. And see, the man still get away. But Dave was like, he did this shit. And then he still, he still got away. In the end, he still got away. But at what cost? He's lost everything. TV rights, all that money. My thoughts are just dead now. I mean, I mean, I, I, I guess there's been worse. I guess. You guess. I'm just trying to find a light side to this, okay? I've heard many dudes that are worse and get a, or got away with it. Or <coughs> his friends. Sorry. I didn't even hear what you said, but I know what you said, probably right. I said Oprah Winfrey's friends, specifically the white ones. 
Um, I hate that woman so much. Like, if she got hit by a bus tomorrow, I'd probably be the only one laughing at the funeral. She even walked to get hit by a bus? Her, she's probably so evil the bus go avoid her through us. Like, yo. Does she know how oh. a side anymore? Does she even drive? No, she got chauffeured, my nigga. All that too. Like, she, Dr. Phil, Ellen DeGeneres, and Steve Harvey. Four peas of a pod. Is Ellen that bad though? I don't, I don't watch Ellen clips or anything. So I don't know. She might not be a piece of shit human, but she treats her work as like shit. And that's enough for me to put her in the category. Well, and I like I just know. And I like I just know. I years of complaints. And the fuck say, oh, she also want uh, the man in her relationship. Like, brother, we sure said she not want dicking at that pants? <laughs> we sure? Like, do we see her wear anything else? I've never seen her wear a jeans that made her look like a woman ever. The only thing we can distinguish from her that she's a woman is her bright blue eye, them nothing else. So men don't have bright, beautiful blue eyes? Unless he's James Bond? No. What? Justice for Daniel Craig. Fuck the black bitch who I tried to play James Bond. I said what I said. Fuck the black bitch while I try to play Ariel too. What gender equality? I'm going to suck on the mama. The girl who try to play Ariel, Little Mermaid. Black, black girl. If he, in a live uh, action animated version, what I'm going to try to make. What against Chloe? Eh? What you have against Chloe? Fuck her. Why though? Brother, why do we need to have a black mermaid? I mean, why, Aria do have, does, uh, why do we need to name her Aria? Why we can't just tell a different story? Fair enough. Well, I kind of I said the same. Why can't we just say, yo, this this is um Poseidon's niece, and such man is a lower king of this part of the sea. But Ariel had dozens of sisters. Some of them were actually black. If you watch the cartoon, Poseidon, <sighs> multiple daughters. Brother, was, was troublesome. I, I don't mean to be like, an asshole to her, but like, what is this narrative? Why everything have to be forced? I had a crush on her, that's why I didn't have a problem with it, but it, it's, it's neither here nor there for me. That's what that, that I heard you. I think we are dick too much. Mm-mm. It wasn't even that. Like, oh, she's hot. Yeah, do it. Really? Thinking with the dick thing. You need help. What movie come out since the um, since year of March and it was underwhelming? Ah yes, Venom. Let there be kind. I expected a lot more. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it just felt. Is it out? Yeah. Watch it. It was it was all right, but. It didn't reach a height for the first one, it did reach, honestly. I expected a lot more. No, I don't want to watch it. No, you cannot. It's not a bad movie. I'm just saying that the way they build up the, car- the Carnage versus Venom fight just felt like it needed to be much more than that. But whatever, I guess. Because I still haven't even watched Squid Game, and I don't think I will. Well, uh, Squid Game is one of the most overrated shows I've ever come across. I really don't. I I get. I am enthralled by it, but it's overrated. Everybody just appraises it at that about. Oh, it talks about world issues. I'm like, haven't haven't shows talked about world issues before? Exactly. There have been sh- there have been shows that speak about because the class elites. It's so big. It's almost at a billion dollars without any merchandise or anything. No, but when I say like the purge itself speaks about the class elites using. The poor for, for them own fun and games and nobody no praise that because oh the purge is such a dumb shitty movie. I'm like, where do you people get off? The purge is not dumb or shitty. The purge is nice. They should have just made it better. The plot is so simple. People get served 24 hours to kill anybody they don't like and anybody that they can. Yo, that subtle en- <laughs> that subtle entrance. <laughs> in some ways, 
So what's up? What did I miss? Oh, oh you know, as I said, Bracha, like everybody is praising Squid Games. Like say, oh, Squid Games are the greatest thing ever created by man. And I'm like, okay, the class elites use the poor in games that they just use for their own amusement. Spartacus did that. Purge did, yeah. did that. Yeah. Every Roman, every Roman show with Her- Hercules did that. For the love of God, God of War and Injustice, the movie had just come out. Speaking of which, Injustice animated movie, what the fuck? I don't need to watch it. Mm. Sound like that. I mean, I used to watch the, the game trailer, the, the game um, Shard Cut Them Feet. Yeah, it was this awesome. One. So I can't wait for this it. This Injustice, Injustice animated series. But now that it's I a series? To... Oh, it's no, a series no, or it's no. a movie? No, it's a movie, but it's a series. But yo, I'm not telling you, the one gripe I have with this show. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yo, when you see how Dunce, Nightwing, Dead Mike, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Why they could have just made the man fucking dead better for you? Why? <laughs> well, you know, what you said, Bradshaw, about Bruce, it came mm-hmm. to pass. Got them show every scenario where he could have prevented his death, and he did nothing. There you go. But, the, but you know, what's really intriguing about it for me, the confrontation between the two Superman them. You get to kind of say, yo, the unhinged, non-Boy Scout version, and a boy scout who is fighting for our righteousness. And the man yeah. said that verb the line which you remember the man said, yo, you lived your life serving these people when in reality they hated you all along. I just decided to speed up the process. I'm like well shit you <laughs> well that was some real last shit. I'm no, like he, he wasn't lying though. Superman knew most uh, a good portion of humanity feared him. And once you fear something, it's naturally you will grow to hate it. He knows that. And we're talking the boy scout. Boy scout knows that people hate him. He knows that. Boy scout knows. And everybody likes the fact say, if he's to go, even he said it one time in one of the episode, him, one of the cartoon episode, he was like, yeah. He was like, yeah. He can't say him blame Bruce to do him do. You know, because. We are, we are considered gods. He couldn't blame Blue. Yeah, even I was like, yo, if anything, I made me respect um, Batman more. He had contingency plan for the whole of them. Including himself. Including him fucking, se- except oh, only one. Only one he never have one for. Wonder Woman. We are, we are no why. And it's not because he couldn't create one. <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> uh, yeah, I get that. Because yeah. um, she got she got she got messed up bad. All I had to do was just because she never had no mental psychological guard to her her prowess. That's how she eventually get caught in the um the mind trick where she and Superman that fist it out and soups don't realize a war go on. Soups. Soups stop fighter, but she can't tell because her brain was in just rage mode. Yep. And him to beat the stuff in out of Superman. Not kill him. The boy scout can't dead. You know that already. Yeah, he's pretty much like one of them Alucard type of characters. Yeah, you can beat them to death, but they're not dead. Right, man. Better man. You said a la card from Death Battle Dead the Unspeakable Dan. The, hold on, hold on, hold on. Remember this, hold on, hold on. Remember this, hold on, hold on, hold on. Remember this, hold on. How stupid was it? How stupid was the win for Dio? Because I already knew for, beforehand that Dio was oh going to win. Oh my God. I knew beforehand that Dio was going to win. You know why? Why? You know why I knew that Dio was going to win? Why? That finds some of the stupidest ways to make certain characters with. No. Bomb I, I, well, Big. No. What I know, what I know. Come on. No. I, no. I Big understand man. that. Yo. Man what I know, what I know. I know. I'm mad can't subscribe now. Dead ass. Like, me and, yeah, me and come with them for years now. I style and style a Jenna. 
I style yeah. them fight them style of fucking Jenna. Alright, right. 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 you have to know the first fight that made me annoyed with them now, Bracha. I way back when they just just started. The first fight that made me annoyed with them, the Link versus Cloud. Not the updated one, the first first one. They gave Link every ample way for win. And they didn't even include the fact that your Cloud had his Omni Slash upgraded. Them do it right in the updated version. You see, mm-hmm. you realize that yo, that battle is just, they're, they're no better than the fanboys of certain other characters. Yes. They pick and choose. Yes. Who wins? And then, and then they match some fuck up match too. Like for instance. Red, red, red Ranger versus um Leonardo. Who can kill him, brother? Them. I'm like. <sighs> Why would you do that? How does that make sense? It was the only orange of it ever beat Tommy in a while. Fear, one and one fight. Yeah. Leonardo, who lost the rough. Jesus Christ. Leonardo get beat by Raphael, how much time? Really? So, who, which one? Raphael killed, killed Shredder already. So, so, what's so special about killing Shredder? And becoming Batman Shredder, beat Shredder without even trying. What's the special Batman. about Shredder? And kill Shredder too, but Pine still stands, bro. Nobody don't want to see Leo lose, and that's a problem. But like, yeah, me get, it. me get it. Like, yeah, he might the greatest out of the turtles, but he's not that great. I know that. I know <laughs> that. Anybody who knows anything about cartoons know that too. Yeah, the super boys, yes, it came to the correct conclusion properly. The um, Lucy versus Carnage fight, Carnage had no ample way of defeating Lucy. This is a girl yeah. that has visible vectors, Even I agree to that one too. That work that can create nuclear fusion, Carnage mm. lose to Vector Spider Man on a regular basis, Honey, and this no never blown up. There's no way he was going to win. But you see, the rest of the fight, then, there's that. always this bullshit method where they just come with this massive calculator and you're like, huh? What? Exactly. Better yet. Better yet. Yes, the, the, second Goku, the second Goku versus Superman fight. Like, we all knew Goku was not going to win, right? But the multipliers that they use is just so mm. nonsense. But it's like, yo, brother, if you just want to make DC win, just make DC win. You know how satisfying it was for me if you shot all of the Pokemon Pokemon fans up on death battle when Mr. Digimon beat them. I, like, I knew that was... No, no, no. That wasn't a fight. Who the fuck... Yo, pause. Who really believed they could have won that? Seriously, <laughs> like... Oh, no, may that make sense, son? Yo, man. Yo, well, I, know, well, I, know, I watch both franchises. I'm like... Seriously, if Pokemon win this, me eat my own fucking head. There's no way <laughs> on earth them can win the fight there. Son, yo, we're talking about War Grey Man, sir. A man who can do something called, um, we call again? Terra Force. Terra Force. Terra Force. Thank you, Terra Force. Which is literally, which is literally Digimon's version of a spirit bomb. Yes, <laughs> and he throws them like every other second. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yo, no, they said something in the last bit when they were discussing why Greyman won, which kind of make everybody realize oh, the fight never made no sense. Why Greyman's entire battle armor is suited to mm-hmm. killing what type of creature? Dragons. What is Charizard? A fucking dragon. No, this is a fire lizard. <laughs> Still a dragon. <laughs> Oh Lord, oh Lord, brother man. But you know, but you know which fight was hugely right. satisfying for me though. Even though I I knew for I had a feeling they would have tried for one one calf one calf such man, but they kind of satisfied say yo, such man did win. Um, the Sasuke versus Hue fight. I knew that Hue was going to win, but I wanted to know how much Death Battle was going to try to scrape over. But, but they're true. They're true. Hue win. I'm gonna say, right, cool. Which I fight then the one will really piss me off. Yes. Well, the Kirby versus Majin Buu fight. 
The Gara versus Tough Fight to this day pisses me off so much. So fucking much. Why? Who won that? Brother. Tough one. And if you saw how tough one, your eyes will be taken out of its socket and looking for answers. Tough froze this man with stone and killed him. The same Gara who tanked two primary lotuses and had his shell still using, mind you, and managed to beat him. And you're meaning to tell me that this simple girl, same girl who struggles regularly with fast moving individuals, can beat Gara. With speed alone. By the time Gara used sand coffin, you should have just get the boulder up. Brother, the Kirby fight was so unfair for managing Boo. How the fuck are you going to create a creature that absorbs fucking everything? Boo's absorption is not on that. Brother, Kirby depends on the level of gods. Brother, yeah. this anime characters yeah. and Kirby can stomp them. Kirby's entire physique is about absorption of anything. And you know the worst part? Kirby's like Alucard. Once he once absorbs you, he takes your abilities. That's, That's how fucking Same. broken he is. Bro, so let me get this straight. Hold on, let me get this straight. So Dio drank Alucard's blood and it gave him a, a power or some shit? Dio lost to jo- Jotaro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just to make sense of this. Because as long as Alucard's blood is in anybody, he can't die. If Alucard could not be killed by the hold same on, deal... So this is the part me I try to make sense out of all of this garbage, bro. His blood is in Dio's body, which means he didn't die. You understand? You, you realize the more and more you try to make sense of this shit? In a oh, minute, hold on, oh, hold on, I bet you. If when he fought oh, Anderson, when, when Alucard fought Anderson, and the literal, the literal nail that was pierced in Christ's body couldn't, couldn't kill this nigga. They're going to tell me that a stand user that lost to Jotaro, a stand user who got murked by Jotaro and had to be resurrected in someone else's body. So, you know that I catch fire for this, right? Brother, this have, this go blast up more than the DBZ versus Superman fight. This will black, brother. I couldn't believe when when the man them I couldn't believe. You know, so fanboy so far are are holding strong, right? Eleven thousand yeah. likes, and I'm like, what? But me understand why them get so much. The generation with them inner. Yeah. Because them not have no friggin' sense. The generation, no, the, the, this generation watches Joe, um, Bobo, um, um, Jojo's Bizarre Adventures. No, no, but what no, but what on, what on, what what on, what well, I know, but, yeah, but me, I, right, me, ever Britain, he much, much a whole Jo, 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 bizarre adventure series in. Him say it out time out, the man say, yo, if they had placed um Cars versus Alucard, him say he would have understand. Because Cars compared to Dio, is like you comparing Akuma to Lucan. There is no fucking comparison. And the man, that there you talk, because the one with more me think about the more upset me go get. Big man, mm. my man can subscribe. Try to let you. Yo, I'm like, yo. Um, am I the only one? Hold on, what? Hold on. You said what? they killed Alucard. Um, did he go through what step one to step twelve? Brother, brother. First of all, there is no step one to step twelve. You see, with that battle. I understand this. You say anytime they mention someone's great feats, all right. Um, Kakashi versus Well, I know. Kakashi versus Ogwan Kanobi, I remember specifically in that fight, Kakashi was dominating the fight throughout, throughout, and Ogwan still win. And I'm like, why does it seem so familiar? Isn't this the same way Anna yes. And keep I in still- mind, same thing. 
interesting way. Isn't right, Kakashi so. supposed to be far smarter than Anakin in terms of battle experience? Well, no, per se. Not really. All right, not, all right, not battle experience, but enough remember, sense no, to use the high. Well, I don't remember, he was a general, so... Yeah, you have to give Ovi one. You have to give him a point for that one day. Yeah, but here, but this I think no, but all on the pressure. I, I remember me used to watch this channel where you used to pick like one um Jedi versus the other, talk about the feet and everything. Obi Wan's defense is only as good as the farm he uses. Apart from that, they look you know, they look a shield with them ever make for like block certain attacks from touch them. The man say, Yo, that was a, all of them, Obi Wan, because he dies at the whole death battle fight. And the man say, Yo, the way Obi Wan when they so 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 um shitty. Not even uh-huh. him can defend it as a Star, Star Wars fan. Because the man say, yo, keep in mind, man say, draw back to episode three when Count Dooku robbed Dal Obi Wan. I'm going to say, yo, now that I remember that fight, oh, Obi Wan got his ass kicked in that fight. Thank you. Isn't Kakashi an assassin? Yes. Kakashi has two uh, manga to uh, sharing guns. Uh, uh, right. Is it well, that was going to be fear? Is it that was going to be fear? They would have taken into context everything Kakashi had, including the bullshit two manga to sharing guns. Because if they will willing to forget Superman everything, they will if they most care willing to forget everybody as everything. Okay, so they give Superman everything. They also gave him less. Right. Yeah, yeah it's Goku. Superman versus Goku. Oh, yeah, what less? Believe that or not? Superman win just because Goku allowed him to? No, he, the way MB Goku was so dumb, like you better than they just stick to it. No, hold on, the, hold on, the upper limits of power and the lower limits of um of determination. Blue. Yeah, There's but no, 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 why the second fight wasn't so outrageous is like most IDBZ fans in Anderson say, Oh, it was a losing battle from the start. Yeah, but, there are few yeah, people who can dish one. that can beat like Goku is strong enough on his own, but brother, yeah. Superman is entirely different league completely. You, brother, it's just so unfair. Brother man, let me tell you, let me tell you how bad it was, right? Guys, you see the guys, first time nice. anyone wants to fight, I was pumped. Not at the first, the very first um death battle between Superman and Goku, right? I was like, yeah. yo, DBZ all we Ray and then them start talking about the farm, the feats, the difference between the two of them. And I'm like, you know what? Death Battle loves to over exaggerate. Kiss mass. No more research. And I'm like, with the first fight. Well, I know. Well, I know. Well, I know. Well, I know. One major flaw Superman's heat vision burns way more energy than that doesn't come here, mere waves. Sure. I give it's you that. If Goku use literally one Kamehameha wave and just hold out for a, for a minute, so his heat what vision enough? will burn him out. Goku will kill him. I don't understand this too now, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, we get the most of one's durability. I don't get most of one's durability. Yes. He can, he can do it. What, that, what, 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 what good will that do him? If you, you do it, hold on. You do remember this is the same guy who got his ass kicked by a literal god and also Doomsday who killed him, right? Yes. Come here, so, brother, keep in mind, Broly walked through an entire camera on my way and he was laughing, you know. So it's not out of the realms for Superman to just tank it. This man got through into a sun. And I just want the DBZ finally met Goku and Broly and all of them can fight through lava. In a... And, in a... In a... In a Thank you, Retro. And Hold Superman on, fights in lava every single other. It's like a regular Tuesday theme. Hold on, no. Hold on. Let's go. Let's go further than that, right? In a, when Super Jesse just, just start, and a brother, he tried Jack Goku film truck. And Goku lose focus. The guy fire and Goku box the bullet. And it's a it, it scrape. Goku skin. You know, scrape him, but. He leave, leave a, skid, a skid mark on Goku hand and then box the bullet. Yep. But confused, you understand me? The first episode of Dragon Ball Z, Raditz got shot and nothing happened. He flicked the bullet back. And kill the man, remember. Killing super, bullet agrees Goku. But the point still stands, Dario Superman is always going to be more durable. Than Goku, 
whether or not bullet can harm Goku. Brother, this is a man that got thrown onto his own planet when it was die when it got recreated with a red sun and he tanked it for more than a year. And a year in space is far longer than Earth time. No who can barely survive the vacuum of space without having a goddamn suit. I never until super when you fight Beerus, you could have gone in a space. Again. Vegeta could have gone in a space whenever you feel come. Vegeta was built different. No. No, it's not. He settles on he settles on planets that atmosphere somewhat matches um Vegeta, which is like Earth. So that's that's how it's been there in a space without no helmet on. He's a stupid. Remember now, warrior class. Remember yeah, that I know. Remember that on planet where them final say, yeah, they breathe the same kind of air as we. Yep. Yeah. They never for wear the mask, they say, remember? Yeah, I know. And then Vegeta blew it to smithereens. Like a post. I mean, we all knew he was an asshole the minute we looked the eyes on him, and that's why most of us liked him. <laughs> yeah, nigga's a bitch. Eh, he grew out it eventually. Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. I just have to wait for them to know the next time they want to put Vegeta in my face, and I swear to God, if that if it's who I think it's going to be, Oh, that butt is going to ruffle some feathers and it won't be pretty. The backlash will not be pretty. I think it's going to be worse than the first episode they made, what they may make. You see, big man, big man, I believe them doing this just a bomber club beat people. Right now, right now, people are supposed to be mad as f- I feel death butt is deleting comments as them ago. Of course, There's hold on. No Racha, you remember the fight between Kratos and Spawn? You remember? Yes. <laughs> All right, to be fair, as a God of War fan, I was outraged. But you see, after I learned about what who Spawn was, yes. I took a step back and said, This fight was so it was so unfair. Yeah, it was so unfair from the start. Spawn is more like a god than a bumblecloud warrior. You understand? I guess what that's why them made them to two uh, a god slayer and a demon. And God slave. It's a God slave versus a God slave, pretty much. Yeah, so, but you have but look at the whole difference is one is a God. Yeah, but you have one man for one side who destroyed one entire pantheon. For the next for a man who literally holds the world captive without even trying. Yes. There is no comparison to that. Two different levels, bro. Two very big different levels. We're talking about a man who can regenerate from his <laughs> sir, sir, he, cre- he held the power of creation and gave it back because he was bored. Did that you hear what like, I just said? Sounds like something not I would say. power <laughs> to warp reality to his whim and he gave it back because he was bored. He created utopia in his image and he gave the power back because he was bored. I was like, wow, this is fucked up. He gave back the power because he was oh, bored. Well, you know what part of that fight kind of was bullshit to me and it never really made no sense after what happened at the end of God of War 3. They said, oh, Spawn mm. had plenty of evil to feed off of because Kratos is literally covered in I'm like, motherfuckers. Really? That, that, that's what you're going to use to empower Spawn more? Really? I mean, come, I mean, come on. Spawn could... yeah, I mean, I yeah, I mean, sure, it's, it's credible, but when I really think about no, it, I, I mean, no, like, no, 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 no. They're saying, they're saying, no. I think what they're trying to say is he couldn't have run out of power. So even if he, he never have anything, he could have feast off of it if he wanted to. I'm going to try to show the people and say, oh, they really, that there's no way in hell creators could have really win. He really couldn't. We all know this. There are so many Kratos. unfair fights. There are so many unfair fights on Death Battle. I can't, yo. <laughs> invisible. Spawn could have gone invisible and make him chain him invisible. And when Kratos wake up and realize it, <laughs> limbs falling off. Again, this wasn't a fight to begin with. This was a bomber massacre. 
I can be real because I know the extent how powerful Spawn really is. I, 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 I wasn't a fanboy because of Death Battle. I used to watch and read the fucking comic, um, comics and from when the brother I used to I used to do Spawn comics. Spawn, Mac, Mac You understand me? Oh yeah, man. I watched the whole of that shit. I'm pissed that he. Just, I, I'm pissed that he just let that let that just end like that. That pissed me yeah. off. That's true. Uh, oh, yeah. some some t- some TV writers or some bullshit with HBO did fuck up the f- f- image, and the man just say you ain't care about that. Some if, some if, some, if, some, if, some if, along those lines. Big man, that HBO show was live. I remember staying up late to watch that shit. Blood and gore, sex, everything a man wants to say. And then them just cancel it, just so. No warning, no nothing, just, just, just so. Just, just fling it our face and say, eh, boy. That hurt. That really boy. didn't hurt. Nah, that's nice, you know. You know which fight didn't make me laugh, though. Not for the not for the because the fight the fight the fight's ending, but for the comments, bruh. The Yoda versus King Mickey fight was just so Who fucking ridiculous. Who? Eh? Who? The Yoda versus King Mickey from um Kingdom Hearts. It was oh, so. That wasn't a fight, sir. That was a that was a that, no. That's not even a fear. Nothing. Are you crazy? Yoda couldn't win that shit even if he wanted to. But yet. <laughs> Yoda, Yoda could win. I'm sorry, yo. Man, I'm a fan and all, but there's no way in hell he could have won that fight. <laughs> and my tell him, so Death Battle is in some impossible shit. I, I guess in their in their minds, this is them equaling it out. So no fan base can oh come on, son. Why why? Why spitting all of all of can it be? Well, I know. How can it be? Right. This shit makes sense. How Better do you when, when Thor fought Wonder Woman, how else was that fight going to end in anybody's mind? That Wonder Woman, I kill him. Furthermore, when I, I saw the fight with um, Captain Marvel and Android, I knew how that fight was going to end. I just wondered if they were going to try to buck DC's piss long enough. And then members say, oh, Android 18 is actually singularly the same girl who wrecked Vegeta making no say, yo, you're a bitch. That's much of disrespect. Very disrespectful. You see, I was going to finish watching the death battle, but I already knew how it was going to end because I knew they were going to find some bullshit way to find a look, make a look like that. Oh, I just how the fuck? How? How? How you spitting? How you spitting at so much people fierce? And then have the audacity to say, "Oh, we did this fairly as fuck." Man, man, go suck your mother. Who the fuck you a try fool? I'm pissed, yo. Even now I'm still upset, bro. I'm like, yo, are you fucking serious right now, brother? They already had one, one. Jo- they already had one JoJo character up on the show, and he lost so bad. We had like brother. If they somehow found that, found Dino, some way to make the man, the night of make the that shit makes sense, yo. Dio beats Alakard. Man, 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 go check out for somewhere. Yeah? Brother, yeah. man, my man is on the That's a full of shit. Dino, Dino, do you can ever beat Jojo, Jojo, or great great grandson? Wait, Trunks versus Cable. Who? Oh, this is some crazy thing. Future Trunks versus that, Cable. Is that all that area? Trunks versus. Oh, I didn't know to say it like. Yes. Trunks versus um, twenty on. Cable, what, what is that X Men? Cable wins. Cable, somebody named Cable. I'm sorry from about that. Yeah, Cable wins. You do know who who, who Cable is, right? Very well, you know. That battle has lost. So, the man that said that people didn't say that that battle is, is, is going um, um, out, and, outside. I'm just going to choose which, which I'm going to put into them show now because it's about entertainment now. It's not really about facts anymore. I'm trying to make it even because... 
I mean, I've heard about other YouTubers being chastised in them for years, saying they yes, put most in and said certain things. Certain like, certain for example, I found out oh, that Grand yeah. Sensei could actually do, um, he could do other things like fighting. Um, he knew how to do, um, the fireball style. He knew, I think, what water, wind, different. But. Because that battle, though, I didn't say guy was actually more accomplished and people really took him for it. He just didn't choose to use those things. He just love of using fists. He liked to use his fists, but he could yeah. do other things. That battle completely scratched that out. People go on, on the Naruto web page and I, and I read, and it's a guy saying they really could do other things. This guy does simple yeah. like that. But guys, oh, still one the fight. Like, where they make it. Nah, let's just let's just leave that still, out. No, no. This I probably what what the most I found that happened in the diary. Like yo, oh. real. I mean the true one. I'm not the one I'm just reading because a guy. Want to actually do them no. research? You see, when they look up on death battle, death the battle said, just ignore them. The people are not, you know. The fuck said they make the guy make it lying. Guy can do other things. He didn't completely suck. But you know what they had to do? They had to tear him down because All Might shouldn't have even landed a goddamn blow. Against who? You know this, right? My guy. They had to kill him in that fight. All Might was so outclass against Guy Sensei. How can All Might And I am dying to hear anybody's. They had to make him die. They had to kill him because. Yeah, that's what you said. All night long, a blue, let alone punch guy. Sorry. All my can be can, um can be guy. What? No, oh. that's no, no, it's not the fuck said. No, it's not the fuck said. All my push guy to in limit. You know that people are problem with. It. It's a fuck. How the fight went? Like yes. They 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 There's said no that in hell. Oh, oh. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's not they said all my strongest move, and I'm like, um, you guys do know that the strongest move he used was the one that he lost his powers with, right? United oh, it's plus of smash. United States of smash, and punk guy regular day guy can't just use smash. any of the gates and dodge it. Any one of the yeah. gates. Yeah. And the fact that they push guys to the limit where guy almost dead in the fight, I'm like, no, well, guy died in the fight. fight. Factory. No, 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 not almost. He died in the fight. So they must say, so, huh? He punched him. Um, I might use um, um, United States of Smash and punch through guy chest. And then guy, guy did um, eight did it, and then... That's my question. How did it land? Huh? How did it land? Like, why is guy gonna stand there and just take a punch for no reason? No, it was the tip. No! Was I was guy. No, was I was like, guy somebody guy the 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 versus plus. Guy about. What kind of rubbish this? And Sorry. I was in. Like, I'm like, yo. If it, them, it, I hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me hear what say. Is that is that it, this is all that most that battle cl close fights go right? They have their ultimate power move for them go you so guy comes mm -hmm. and say oh, pull out all his stocks, he unleash all ten gates. All my charge up mm -hmm. is strongest ultra, um plus ultra. Yeah. And the two of them hit, two of them hit, and somehow they might try to make we know say yo plus ultra has enough force and power. So not only knock back 10 gates, like as well slap on stream chest and make guy bleed out. <laughs> keep in mind, keep in mind, this is the same guy who who kicked Madara so hard, he had to absorb the entire ten tail tree just to get back enough strength. Keep that in mind. That make no sense. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah. my god, iron fist versus Po. Like, why? No, 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 no. First of all, no, you said that fight, that fight was complete. bullshit. How the hell do you put iron fist versus brother? 
Who is a goddamn god? My you. Thank you. you. No way. Yo, <laughs> yo, yo. I'm glad I'm not the only one who have sense. I'm like, yo. Like, for instance, Ganondorf versus Bowser. I was like, first of all, Ganondorf. Bowser was always going to die just because of one thing only. Bowser is perceived by many just to be an idiot. And I'm saying, brother, this man can't go after the same person and be an idiot. But you know what fight was really satisfying to me? The Ganon, Ganondorf versus Dracula fight. And when I thought about, no, regular ass Dracula, be Castlevania well, Dracula. Yo, yo, hold on, all right. I'm not telling you another fight is satisfying and piss me uh, the first time I'm do it. The Mario versus Sonic fight when Mario lost the first time, and I'm like, What? Yeah, that, I, I'm not going to lie. As a, 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 if I'm a Sonic, I was like. Yo, my play Sonic, my play Mario. I played both games. There's no way in hell Sonic's supposed to win this. That's speaking volumes because I played both consoles. And Sonic did the impossible and killed Mario. I'm like, no, but they, no, you know, no, but you know, you know, you know the true reason why they redid the fact that Retro Nintendo, uh, I get their money. Not Nintendo. Um, the creators of Mario ask them, say, yo. <laughs> the creators of Mario ask them, say, if they really believe it's Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog, who then put in our next fight with Flash of all people. And he got wrecked. This is the same Flash who be Quicksilver and two death battles are going on. Easy, easy win. You know? Easy, easy win. Easy win. Quicksilver never have a chance. No chance, brother. Your death yeah. battle is predictable. Then you just love put the big heavyweight and put some underdog, and you know, say the underdog half a lose. Right. Like mm-hmm. Some of them, just some of them. Yeah, yeah, them, them check because, like me say. And I, I don't care who wants or what they want to say. There's no way in hell Dio won that fight. Kiss my ass a million times. The fact that Dio absorb all the card blood, that means all the card is not dead. Brother, man, there's so much lad. There's so much that death battle purposely avoid bringing up. It's a literal people... twelve step ritual to killing a la card, and Brother. we don't know eleven other steps. Brother, which eleven step? Van Helsing literally beat a la card just because of a arrogance, which is basically every vampire's weakness. All right, when a card was Dracula, Vlad. Mm-hmm. Um, Van Helsing literally comes and have. He, he literally used um, mind games. And when he finally stake Alucard, Alucard said, shit, I've been bested. Man said, what is it? And Van Helsing asked him, say, yo, do you want to just die like a bitch or do you want to become something greater? The man said, ah, cool. You become a slave, but you know, still going to be a big asshole about it. Van Helsing is a regular human, the greatest vampire slayer ever to live. Dio got beat by Jotaro other stand users multiple times. Same man who can't compare to cars, who was a greater threat. I mean, for them, the Alucard who regenerates from even mal- simple molecules is going to die to this man. Really? It's a man who absorbs Alucard's blood, which means, well, I know a man who absorbs Alucard's blood, which means Alucard exists inside of him now. Which means, keep, oh, know, as I'm, keep in mind, I him still have the arms left. Time enough. Yes. Eh? Where's the Darryl? 12.30, I get tired. I have gym in the morning. <laughs> Man. Son, like we say, so we've we gone way, way past the fight of no return. But anywho. Oh, oh but, like, no, we didn't have to talk about Carl. Like, we, we've been wanting to re- run about this for all long, you know, brother? Me up, I wondered if I was the only person who had a problem. What? What the hell did I watch? I was like, is there a gas leak in this bitch? <laughs> what the hell did I just watch? How the hell is Dio alive? How do you survive? How do you kill the unkillable? 
Mark you, they said it's in the goddamn title. He's unkillable. But you tell me, say, somehow, somehow, and you need to understand what we are talking about now. What am uh, I, what I, what I, what I, what I, what I said Dio had to do would have been so, so specific that, and then Mark you, it took Alucard 30 years. So Alucard killed all 3 million deem, all 3 million souls in a matter of seconds for Dio to kill him. Seriously? Yeah. Make that shit make fucking sense. It took him 30 years. And this is Alucard we're talking about. So Alucard destroyed 3 million souls. Hey, the crimson fucker, aka the fuck mothering vampire. Well, no, yeah, well, I know. Know. well, I know. The jack, the two gun them alone. Jesus Christ. We're not, we're not even need to go into the man vampire. The man two gun them alone. It, it should be enough. They are called holy bullets. What is a vampire's biggest weakness? Holy blades, materials, spirit, anything. I am if it, Jesus Christ. Let's like get more upset as the mm. Bet, bedtime, guys. Bedtime. Bet bedtime. Bedtime. This is as bad as the Shao Kahn and M. Bison fight because them hype up M. Bison like the M. Bison had get shit. Time. And we knew within ourselves that Bradshaw Shao Kahn would never lose. I knew that. <laughs> that wasn't a fight. <laughs> that wasn't a fight. No, no seriously. Hey, hold on. Hold on. When well, I heard the names announced, I'm like, Shao Kahn. I immediately said Shao Kahn. <laughs> we well, never think twice of Shao Kahn. Okay, let's talk about M. Bias the second Shao form. I'm Shao like, boho, boho, it's so powerful that he has never lost a fight. I'm like, y'all n- niggas remember that Akuma wrecked him, right? Yes. And then Pantapai too. His soul is the weapon. What does Shao Kahn eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Souls. Okay, so, yeah, we're make another unfair fight, you dumb fucks. Anyways, yeah, man, man, like I said, like I said, honestly, I, I get why them put the card. They're two legendary bosses of two leg- legendary franchises. That's why it wasn't because did their facts. New say there's no way in hell Bison can actually win this. It's just we want to see the boss of Mortal Kombat versus the boss of Street Fighter. That's pretty much what that was. That was not done off a of beer. Fox or whatever the shit, like, you feel me? It's pandering. It was pandering. True. It was pandering. And I mean, listen, I mean, if, I, this, if I can give any props to any one fight they did, um, not solely based on bullshit alone, would be the Scorpion Rio fight. Mm-hmm. Even though we, who we know that Scorpion was never going to lose. I mean, they did real dirty, dirty by just pulling him into hell. Like, pff, that was one of the dirtiest shit I've ever seen. You literally just bet the man chances of 50% winning just gone down to 0%, right? That's all. Nobody has ever beaten Scorpion in hell. Not even the man who brought him there in the first place could have beat him. But real so, gonna do it. Well, I know. So, since, since the page, since I look back on them page, 4,008... 4,800 people dislike it, but 48,000 like it. Man, understand why the 48? Because, again, they, 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 they're killing off the old for bringing the new, somewhat. Because right now, they, they pander to who will pay them now. Yo, you know which fight I want them to do next? Really, Andrew, really? I want them to do a Demon Slayer versus an Inuyasha character. I really want them to do one of that. I so want them to put, better yet. I want them to put the strongest demon slayer versus Sheshomaru. And I dare them. I triple dare those assholes to tell me how Sheshomaru go then. And don't worry, they'll find a way. But I dare them. Marco Derek really were well done. What I'm kind of bummed. Alec Helsing didn't pull through. Too bad. London was popular. What the fuck? <laughs> Racha, why are you oh really coming to get upset more? Racha, Racha, come on, my comments. Racha, your sanity, come off of the comments. Oh what kind of comment, Nivia? What yeah. kind of cook, Nivia? In screen. Mario. Mario. In screen. But Racha, oh see Please, I beg you. What the fuck am I looking at? 
Dario, can you please end the episode? <laughs> oh my God. Ladies Are you serious? Girls, thank you again for tuning in to another episode of Controversial Topics. Sorry we went all the way off track and we didn't speak about these burning issues. When what we burning? Did episode, when we did the episode on anime, because we should have spoken about this when we did the episodes. Oh man, <laughs> This was just us at our ranting best, you know, because bullshit like this needs to be said and people need to hear it. Like, comment, subscribe, share. And tell us, are we wrong to think that that but is a piece of shit? Oh, shit. Link the comments. It's disappointing, son. Like, this this is really disappointing.